Harvey Wan and Mark Eisenthal with you on this Tuesday. Well, the long holiday weekend is over, but the summer heat continues, folks, for the next several days. But we do have some changes coming before we do the weather. Let me just tell you, in sports yesterday, the Sox win, Yankees lose. We build our lead in first place to eight and a half games. I'm liking that. All right, let's do some weather today, shall we? Weather headline would suggest some weather changes are coming. Hot, muggy weather through Thursday with storms breaking the heat during the afternoon. Cooler by Friday, much cooler over the weekend. There could be some rain coming in before the weekend is over. But for today, no doubt about it, partly sunny. It'll be hot and buggy. 85 at the beach with a weak sea breeze. It'll be 94 inland. Dew point still up over 70. Now at the beach, we have a high tide in Boston Harbor this morning at 10 to 7. South, actually, onshore flow, an onshore wind, probably southeast, east, southeast, 5 to 15 miles an hour. Seas 1 to 3 feet. Water temps still running in low and mid 70s. It'll be sunny and hot at the beach about 80. 85 degrees in the middle of the night, partly cloudy. It'll be buggy in the 70s. Here's your five-day forecast for Boston. Starting with tomorrow, partly sunny. Wind turns southwest, it's 94. Thursday, partly cloudy, hot, buggy, low 90s. Watch for afternoon showers and storms. Friday, lots of sunshine, much cooler at the coast. Low and mid-70s there, low 80s well inland. Saturday, sun, a few clouds, cooler, mid-70s, cooler at the beach. Probably about 70 at the beach on Saturday with a stiff northeast wind. Sunday, increasing clouds, low 70s. There could be some rain here Sunday night and Monday as the remains of Gordon, now a tropical storm which could become a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, get swept up around the cold front and could give us some rain here late in the weekend. We'll be following that potential. So there you go. That's my forecast. Thanks for checking in. Please stay tuned for updates. I'm Mark Eisenthal.